Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to do a triptych, which is three canvases together. Um, they don't have to be stuck together, but they're going to be hung together as a set, basically. I'm using the Artist Loft Ready Mixed Pouring Paint, and this is great because you don't have to mix anything into it. I used some yesterday, so I have a little bit left in my, this is a silicone bowl. I'm just going to use the rest of that because I definitely do not like to waste the paint um, and I'm gonna do a pretty wide range of colors including that uh, was metallic white I've got this awesome orange that's a new color and then um, gold this gold that I totally love I'm going to go ahead and use some purple and blue as well these colors are great because they don't mix together like um, the normal acrylic paints so you don't have to worry as much about getting mud like you're pretty much guaranteed to get something awesome even when you put um, like unusual colors together adding in some black unfortunately I'm kind of nearly out of white and black it seems I'm gonna go with some more gold and then I'm gonna top it off with some more blue and I don't want to fill the cup too full because then it's hard to manage, but I'm hoping this is enough. What I'm going to do is a tree ring and I'm going to do a wreck a tree ring. This is, I've never done this on a triptych. So I'm hoping these canvases are close enough that this works out just fine. The silicone bowl is from Lowly Vefe. I'll put the link in the description. So definitely check that out. I love these because you can reuse them and not waste all those plastic cups. And you can peel the skins out often and get something really cool for jewelry or other projects. So I'm gonna go ahead and run a stick through this. This makes it uh, the wrecked technique. Learned about that from Molly's artistry. And it can just give you some really cool patterns and designs. I think I'm just going to leave it at that. I don't want to do too much. Now holding the canvases together, there's nothing else holding them but me. I'm going to go ahead and tilt. You can temporarily attach them in the back with something. I've used tape before. Didn't really work that well, to be honest, but you could, these are pretty thick and they have thick frames. So you could even probably screw them together with a piece of wood if you wanted to. Um, but they're easy enough to hold as you tilt. So that's what I'm going to just do here. And so far this is coming out super cool. I love this Artist Loft orange. And that gold is awesome. So I'm just going to get the whole thing covered and then I'm going to to take the pieces apart because we don't want them to dry together or they will be stuck together. The orange is a color that I think I don't use often enough, <laughs> but recently I've been pretty inspired to use it. I'll set this down. I should have moved these bottles out of the way. I don't want to keep tilting it over here because I don't want to run all this off. So I'm just going to tap it out with my fingers here. And now I'm going to go ahead and separate the pieces. And then the paint will fall in on the sides. But doing this technique, it's unlikely that you'll get full coverage on the sides. So with this technique, particularly, I do recommend you'll probably have to go in there later with a paintbrush or something and just touch up your sides. Because it's just pretty much impossible to get all of those covered unless you want to tilt more at this stage, which I really don't. I'm very, very happy with how this looks and I don't want to do anything else to it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to just touch up the sides and then we will do our close up. Okay, so I just touched up like the outer edges. 
The inside edges still need a little more work, but let's do our close up. So starting in the lower right hand corner, you can see that gorgeous gold and just the beautiful lines. I am super in love with this piece. This is the middle panel. Look how crazy awesome that is. Down to the bottom of the middle panel. And then over here to the left panel, which I love the navy blue that I got in here. Just that blue and black mixing, I guess. And then back to the overall. And this is a really glossy paint, so it will dry really glossy just like this. You can get it at Michael's. I don't think they have it online, like on Amazon anywhere. Uh, but it's really cool. If you can get a chance to try it out, go ahead and try it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time.